Welcome to the best horror movie you never saw, where we shine a light on horror movies you may have missed, haven't seen in a long time, or just plain forgot about. On this episode, we're looking at Russell Mulcahy's Resurrection, starring Christoph Lambert, Robert Joy, Leland Orser, and David Cronenberg. It's the 90s. The setting is an anonymous city in which it never seems to stop raining. Two cops are on the trail of a serial killer who leaves mangled, mutilated bodies in his wake. But these aren't random killings. The murderer is preaching, leaving little clues that frustrate the police. It's gone too far. He came to my house to kill my wife. It all builds to a frightening revelation, one that will change all of those involved forever. No, I'm not describing David Fincher's Seven. This is Resurrection. And yes, it's a lot like Seven. If the latter didn't exist, the former probably wouldn't either. It is a grim and gory, rain-soaked thriller in which two mismatched partners relentlessly pursue a self-righteous serial killer whose murder spree is part of an unthinkable master plan. And so what? We sat through seemingly dozens of die-hard rip-offs in the 90s, some of which were good, so why not have some imitators of one of the greatest horror movies of all time? And with that said, thankfully Resurrection is a good imitator of Seven, and it eventually manages to be a solid thriller in its own right. Well, some people might not ever get over how much it resembles the Fincher film, it presents a dire enough picture of evil that it ultimately stands on its own two feet. Pun intended, if you've seen it. The place is Toronto, um, Chicago. A maniac is going around chopping off human body parts and leaving foreboding numerals and messages like he is coming behind while detectives Prudholm and Hollingsworth wonder just what the hell it's all about. All the victims are 33 years old and alive when their limbs are taken. You know who else was 33 when he died? Jesus Christ. Coincidence? After all, Easter is around the corner. Is our killer the Easter Bunny, sick of hiding eggs and moving on to hiding limbs? Or is it a religious psycho who's a little too eager to celebrate Easter? We'll let you find out for yourselves. The film was directed by that great Australian B-movie maestro, Russell Mulcahy, best known for fun schlock like Razorback, Ricochet, and the first two Highlander films. Resurrection re-team Mulcahy with Connor McLeod himself, Christoph Lambert, a sturdy presence here playing a cop who, true to convention, doesn't always play well with others. His captain actually yells, no one wants to work with you, at one point. Mulcahy has always been able to alter his style to fit the screenplay. He's a journeyman filmmaker who knows his way around a genre script. Here he does a very fine job of imagining a supremely morbid series of events. No! Get an ambulance! Get an ambulance! Resurrection is atmospheric and foreboding, and to its credit, you get over the seven comparisons before long. Mulcahy crafts rather unsettling set pieces throughout. The murder scenes are mean and troubling. In fact, the movie had to be edited from an NC-17 to an R before release. The makeup effects work is phenomenal. You won't have much of a problem believing the sorry victims of the numbers killer have really lost a piece of themselves quite literally. The personal fave is the poor bastard who loses his head and subsequently finds himself on the toilet. How embarrassing. It's not often movies make me squeamish, but for reasons that will be graphically obvious to anyone who watches it, Resurrection absolutely delivers on the squeam factor, if that is indeed a thing. I've always enjoyed Lambert as a screen presence. He often plays tough guys, yes, but with more vulnerability than the other macho heroes of the 80s and 90s. He always looks slightly unsure if he's doing the right thing. Well, except in Mortal Kombat. 
That was an Oscar-worthy turn if ever there was one. Resurrection offers him several opportunities to do some real acting. I suppose it's no coincidence he helped conceive the story. And he performs them, well, admirably. Again, he won't be confused with Olivier, but he doesn't need to be on that level. He's a very solid lead here. Stealing the show is Leland Orser, as Lambert's far more amusing partner. What's this guy got? A fucking shopping list or something? Orser is best known for his freakouts on screen. See Seven, Alien Resurrection, The Bone Collector, and he delivers several more memorable freakouts in this film. The chemistry between Lambert and Orser is actually quite good. They're a likable duo, as is necessary in a buddy cop scenario. And when Orser's character suffers an um, unfortunate setback, it hits hard. Leland is definitely the MVP of the picture. Another treat? David Cronenberg shows up in a small role as a priest who consults Lambert's character. You shouldn't turn your back on your faith. God loves you, John. His love can help you heal. Oh, I've seen how he loves me. Because, true to form, he's lost his faith. Cronenberg is always a welcome sight on the screen. Honestly wish he were in front of the camera more often. Thank you, Father. And here he provides a soothing figure for both Detective Prudholm and the audience. Finally, Robert Joy is alternately likable and creepy as a shady FBI agent with his own agenda. A few years later, he'd play a lovable man-child in George Romero's Land of the Dead. But in Resurrection, he's not so fun to be around. This flick has a reliable cast who can sell the dread and fear needed in this nefarious world Mulcahy creates. So, yes, Resurrection is more than a little like that other movie about a preachy serial killer and the mismatched cops who track him down, but you've seen that one a hundred times already. As an alternative, why not lend your ears and eyes to Resurrection? Not literally, of course, this movie might just take you up on it. <laughs>